Okay, let's review Rick and Morty Virtual Reality for PlayStation VR. So let me start from this. This game is fun, but it's an expensive fun. And if you like expensive fun, then you're probably not gonna be able to play that because you're probably high on cocaine. And if you're high on cocaine, then you'll be too hyper to play it because you'll be all over the place and finding a good tracking spot is pretty difficult in this game because, yet again, no fucking turning button. And sometimes you have to turn away from the camera. So this was slightly annoying, but not too bad of an issue. I just have to like bend over a few times and uh, hang my hands below me to like have a tracking on moves. Never mind, never mind. Uh, at least my lard not been getting too much in the way. So big elephant in this game is the gameplay time because the main story took me about one and a half hour and that's with me being dumb as fuck and like just failing a few times so very very short. When it ended I was like is this the end? I was like streaming it and I was thinking like is that it? Is that the end of the stream? Because I was ready to play good few you know three four hours two hours I don't know more than what I fucking played definitely but from what I played, I did have fun with the game. I never watched Rick and Morty and this game just made me want to watch it. I did enjoy it. It's just so nice pissing about with shit everywhere, uh, just doing random stuff. You got like teleporting device and you go into different levels. You can take laxative and then shit and then eat your own shit and puke. Uh, I mean, who don't want to do that? You can try it in VR. It's amazing. Graphically, this game looks very crisp. It's a very nice presentation, very sharp. I've been playing on Pro and I had no issues. I like the graphics. I like the voice acting. So I pretty much like just like a lot of stuff about this game. What I don't like is the price tag which is 25 quid and gameplay time which is one and a half hour and after that you can do some stuff you know but it's nothing like I really want to do like find some fucking tapes and listen to them. I don't want to do that. I, you know, I would prefer to play a bit more of a game. So my verdict would be it is a fun game. It's definitely fun, you know, but it only lasts one and a half hour. It's got few tracking issues and I would wait for sale unless you are a big, big Rick and Morty fan. Then obviously buy it. Just make sure to remember that it's gonna be experience on bit of a shorter side. And if you're not Rick and Morty fan and never watched it like me, you know, you probably will enjoy it as well. But in the end, you might end up disappointed with the gameplay time so I would say wait for sale I wish this game was selling like I don't know like 15 quid max maybe maybe but you know it's fun but expensive fun like I said and that's it bye